What's up, travelers? Well, I'm in Portland, Oregon, and what do you think about when you think about Portland, Oregon? That's right, food trucks. And we are here, and we are getting ready to go over to this place called Master Philly Cheesesteak, and we are going to get some of that, and there's a few other places around as well, so uh, stick around. <laughs> Peter, what the hell is this? This, Lois, is my new food truck, specializing in all the delicious, unhealthy foods that you won't let me eat. My name is Anthony Harding. This is Tasting Travel. Welcome to the show. We are currently sitting at 2,087 subscribers, and we are on our way to a goal of 5,000 subscribers. And that would be absolutely amazing if you want to help us get there. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Now let's get on to that video. So I ordered a Philly cheesesteak dog. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at this thing. It's got a nice white cheese. It's got bell peppers, onions that Philly cheese steak that we were looking for. And then it is also uh, got this nice looking beef frank there. And oh my God, does it look good. Let's get into this real quick light. Oh wow, that is just, awesome <laughs> just flat out awesome oh my god i am so happy that i stopped here i forgot how much i've enjoyed the flavors of a philly cheesesteak not that i've ever had an actual philly cheesesteak i've never been to philadelphia yet this thing is great i mean just just look at that that is just that is phenomenal i am i, I can't wait to take this next bite Now, like I said, there's more there's more food trucks here, but most of them are closed, unfortunately. There's a Euro spot next door to the Master uh, Philly Cheesesteak place, and there is a burrito place behind it. So I may actually move on and go find something else after this. This place is definitely worth stopping at. They've got a lot of interesting takes on the Philly cheesesteak. They've got the Philly cheesesteak, the chicken cheesesteak, they've got a lamb cheesesteak. They've got a lot of shawarma style influence going on here. From the two bites that I've taken so far, I highly recommend this place. But they also gave us uh, a couple of different sauces here, so let's try that out. This one, this one here, it kind of looks like a, uh, kind of like a queso, maybe a honey mustard or something like that. I imagine it's probably a queso. Yeah, probably to kind of, it's like a cheese whiz to go with the Philly cheesesteak. So we may actually try that here in a second. And then we've got this sauce, which is more than likely the fry sauce. And uh, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of like a runny mayo with a little bit of smokiness of a barbecue sauce and a lot of mustard. It's a really interesting, uh, interesting sauce let's get back to this and let's try it with some of this queso the queso is good but i think i prefer it on the fries um this 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 philly cheesesteak dog doesn't need anything special with it come and get this for sure it is awesome I'm tempted to go back and get their lamb cheesesteak. I bet that would be absolutely phenomenal as well. But we are gonna go check out another food truck in a different part of town, so stick around. Jesus. Hello, mortals. It's me, your favorite Lord and Savior, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I just wanted to take a short break from my very, very busy schedule of uh, well, you know, miracles and uh, other Jesus duties up here to have a little divine intervention with you. You see, I wanted to tell you about a glorious YouTube channel called Tasting Travel. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, 
You could trust me. I am like the most reputable person, well, ever. So there's that. So be sure to give them a like and subscribe. And also ring that notification bell so an angel can get its wings. Now, I'd love to stick around and rain down blessings, but I'm kind of like the busiest messiah ever. And I need to get back to these mansions because they're definitely not going to build themselves. So you stay blessed and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Amen. Jesus. All right, so we are at a new location. Uh, this is the Fork Fairview Food Plaza. And uh, they got a bunch of food trucks here, so let's go check it out. So we got the Vietnamese Thai place here. Best pepper salted squid, that sounds kind of interesting. Kebabs. Filipino food. A barreria. A boba place. It looks like lots of other stuff here. We got smash burgers. Another Thai spot. Briskets and gravy. Oh man, there's all kinds of stuff here. More Mexican food. Indian sushi, bon mi fusion, and a shish kebab. And it looks like a place to go drink. So, yeah, let's uh, figure out what we want and then let's get it and check it out. So we went over to Briskets and Gravy and we picked up a half order of their Briskets and Gravy and we also pulled an order of their Barbecue Brisket Bites and oh my god would you look at these things all oh month. I love my balls, I love my balls. I love my balls, I love my balls, I love my balls. Look at that. I mean it is just... That is the kind of thing that you just kind of dream about when you're looking for food as a foodie. Oh man. So basically what it is, is it's got some brisket in it, but it is deep fried mashed potato ball, some chives and some other stuff in there. And then, wow, that is so good. This was worth coming to Portland, just in itself. This one little ball of mashed potato meaty goodness. Oh, holy, holy, holy. Mm. Now, Easter was yesterday. I'm not much of a holiday type of person. I don't really celebrate holidays. I think if they use those balls, is the Easter eggs? I would be on the hunt. I'm just saying. Yeah, let's uh, let's try out these uh, briskets and gravy. Not biscuits and gravy. Briskets and gravy. So it has a beautiful sunny side up egg over the top of two biscuits and some chopped up brisket and gravy. And I just folded that egg over so you can see a little bit more here. What that smell like? So let's dig in. Get some little bit of everything here. A you know, bit of the egg, the biscuits, the the meat, the gravy. Cheers. 
Oh. Wow. That Philly cheesesteak dog that we had a little while ago. That was good, but man, that is like C grade compared to what we're having here. Oh man, this is this is one of the best ideas I've ever ran into down here in Portland. Mm. Now there's a couple other food trucks here that I want to try out pretty bad, like the Bon Mi Fusion Filipino place and the Salted Squid place. All of that just sounds like it's absolutely amazing. I have already spent about 50 bucks on this video between the hot dog and, and this stuff here. So uh, we're not gonna be doing that. But hopefully maybe we'll come back and try the rest of these places out sometime down the line. But there are also a lot of other food trucks here in Portland that I would like to go check out. I know somewhere there is a Korean Mexican fusion place that sounds really awesome. I could definitely go for some bulgogi burritos. This is the best biscuits and gravy I've ever had. That's saying something because there's a lot of really good biscuits and gravy out there. The smoked brisket just it melds with that gravy it's a nice peppery country gravy and these biscuits are nice and fluffy and soft and just it's like eating a cloud of flavor you add that the creaminess of the yolk of the egg on there and it is just as close as you're gonna get to perfection Mm. You gotta come check it out. As always, I'm gonna leave links in the description so you can come find these places and come check them out for yourself. But again, we are coming up on 2,100 subscribers. We're trying to get to 5,000. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All that stuff, it really does help us out. It gets YouTube to show us out to more people who haven't seen our content. So check it out, do it. As always, eat great food.